So I am a huge fan of 9 to 5. Yes. And um, when that movie came out, uh, I believe it was 1980, 81, mm -hmm. um, it was a movie starring three women and it had this kind of feminist bent to it and it was all about wanting to get over on your boss and being upset about um, <laughs> getting upset about being passed up because you're a woman. What? Now let me finish, okay? And don't go flying off the handle. You gave that promotion to Bob Enright instead of me? I've got five years seniority over him. I know that. For Christ's sake, I trained him. I know that, but see, the, the company... Oh, the that company <laughs> bullshit. It's your decision. You promoted him. You tell me why. Well... In the first place, see, Bob does have a college degree. Oh, Alex. brilliant, brilliant. While he's away at college getting his precious, useless degree, I'm working my butt off at this company. And in the second place, he does have a family to support. And I don't? What has that got to do Wait, with anything? Violet, look, my hands are tied here. The company needs a man in this position. Clients would rather deal with men when it comes to figures. Oh, now we're getting at it. Were you and... and... Dolly and Jane, like, aware of how special that was? I, I don't think, I mean, I think we thought it was a good film to make and about an important issue, issues, and, uh, but I don't think we had the misgivings about it that maybe the people around us did, you know, the fact that it was driven by three women, and, uh, and, the, and so the first weekend we didn't do that well. We did okay, but we didn't do great. Mm -hmm. And then once it caught on, then we, we were like top grossing film or second top grossing film of the year. I mean, it just really, like, you had to be a young girl, a child. And, and uh, kids love the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it, it, we're, in fact, I have a great story. My uncle, my uncle, who was a pig farmer in Kentucky, lived way out in the country. Uh, he lived to be 99. So uh, my Aunt Odie May called me up and she said, well, Wallace hadn't been to the movie in 30 years. <laughs> and Saturday night he put on a suit and tie and drove all the way to Paducah to see 9 to 5. <laughs> and he said he laughed so much he's going back again next Saturday. Yeah. So that was a good... I wish he were alive now. We could get, maybe get an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially with, with um, Grandma, You've got a great cast of, of supporting women. You have Judy Greer. Oh, fantastic. Um, you have Laverne Cox. Um, Mar Marcia Gay Harden. Marcia Gay Harden. And um, Julia Warner's Julia wonderful. Warner. It's just such a great cast. Like, how, how did the chemistry on set work for you guys? Like, it, you know, it was like, it was, it just sort of, it was almost effortless. It probably wasn't effortless for you. <laughs> but no. once, once it, we jumped in, it was like effortless. We just came and we did. I don't know. It, it, it I didn't think of it at the time, but in retrospect, I think it was. It seemed kind of blessed. You know, you think of a, a project as sort of being blessed, just having its own legs. Or, and uh, my like my, the old car in the movie is my car. Oh really? Yeah. I, oh, Paul wow. said we need an old car. We have to get a car. <laughs> For them to drive around in, and I think, well, I have an old car. What kind of car was that? It's a '55 Dodge Royal Lancer, wow. painted all black. I mean, it was originally three-tone, you know, mm -hmm. pink, gray, gray, and cream. Wow, nice color. This is a more, <laughs> more badass version of that. Yeah, we made a badass. For, I well, I that's, that's how the car came to me with all that big heavy chrome on it. <laughs> Uh, Duvall and uh, the Apostle, that was the 